Fitness for longevity, I'm just checking in with you. Always remember to train for life and train accordingly. Um, quick video here before I go back to my care, <laughs> caregiving duties. I've been having to take care of my wife. Wife just recently had um, ACL surgery, ACL re replacement. She had a meniscus tear in there too. So some things were done with the meniscus. All of this from playing kickball, man. Uh, God bless her. I feel almost responsible for it a little bit too because she's just simply trying to be active, you know. Um, what I've noticed is that what I've learned through being a trainer over the years is that, you know, there's in order for people to be active, they need more of a community feel. Some people might be self propelling and kind of get up and go in there and tear themselves up. Then there's other people like they need like minded people, they need a certain level of energy from other people being around doing the same thing that community feel. You know, and that's basically what she was doing through kickball. But where she went wrong was, I mean, I'm 41. My wife is pushing up on 40, you know. She's not active with consistency outside of these two days or three days of kickball for the week. And there's no stretching beforehand. So basically, she'll sit down at a long shift, go from that shift and goes right into kickball without some real intense stretch and warm up and pre prep, you know, preparing us for what it is you're getting into. So... I really feel like that plays a huge role in why she tore her knee up like that, you know, um, simply playing kickball. Not to say kickball is not an intense thing, you know, as far as agility. Anything with agility, you want to be as prepared as you can, especially if you're getting up in age, right? <laughs> you need more preparation than ever. So anyways, enough talking about that, man. What I got for you today is um, a video of my younger client. Basically, we're just doing... It's a it's a solid session, man. There's a lot in it, right? We're starting off with some stability movements. You know, I love to warm the body up through the core. Um, we're doing some um, high planks. I think I got him from, from the bench over to the plyo box, stretched out, right? Just really, really, really just kind of waking up the stabilizer. Then we even did some weighted um, sit-ups. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Uh, once we were done with that, we went into the um, plyo box. So we're just doing more coordination movements, um, functional movements. I had him jumping from two feet, landing on one. Uh, then we also did from one leg, landing on two. Um, this is a combination of stuff. Like I said, I'm thinking more functional, more coordination. Um, you know, things like that is healthy for your knees, your joints as well too. All right. Once we're done with that, if not, if I'm not mistaken, we went into um, the strength movement. So um, we went into. I made him do a combination of seated overhead press right but his legs is up so we taking we sitting long ways on the bench legs are up and we're pressing we're just putting a big emphasis on the shoulders right right we take there's, there's no possibility of cheating in there not to say that you're necessarily cheating if you're standing but it's all shoulders so we just put a big emphasis emphasis on the shoulders and it's a more it activates your core more because you got to um bent over rows which was brand new for him so you can see we ain't got that much weight on the bar. He's a young blood, you know what I mean? He's still new to the, the overall concept of resistance training. So, you know, we want to focus more on form and making sure he's doing it right. Then we'll go up in weights, you know what I mean? We went into some power stuff too. So what I decided to do, I made him use a slam ball, basically a slam ball toss overhead, right? It works your core as well too, but it's more power. You know, you, 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 the overall objective is to toss the ball as far as you possibly can. We went into some goblet squats. We're just working on range of motion. Just try to make sure you get that good solid range of motion. Hips, the knees, make sure everything is prepared for that because we just started training. So we still had that 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 phase where I'm trying to get him to master certain things moving forward, right? So we did some goblet squats. Um, we did some um, farmer's walk. So we did some farmer's walk with a trap bar. Did a couple of... Um, trap bar deadlifts first into the farmer's wall now um, just to make it a little bit more intense so again it is a high volume on what we did and once we're done once we're done with that we just went into this more cardiovascular stuff to wrap it up just to kind of fatigue him completely just tie the young man basically what we're doing is leaping over the plyo box from one side to the next going back and forth we probably did two rounds of that um, please like subscribe comment share Mr. Fitness for Longevity, man. Coach Andre out here, man. Just trying to spread love and um, get the good word out in regards to, you know, just being the best you can, the strongest you can, the healthiest you can for as long as possible. Let's go!